Backgrounds. They're a big part of my photography, should be a big part of your photography too. It is what brings the whole image together and makes images stand out from the crowd. So how do I get these amazing looking backgrounds every time? When it comes to getting consistently great backgrounds in your images, it's all about your mindset. All too often we see a bird, get excited and we're like, oh, just shoot. And we ignore all the other factors that make a great image. So today I wanna to focus on showing you how to get much better backgrounds consistently in your images. And all it takes quite often is actually just stepping to your left or stepping to your right a little bit and you get a much better background behind the bird. So let's look at a few examples and see how you can get these great backgrounds. For this and future tutorials, I will be enlisting the help of my friend Charlie here. He doesn't only look good, but he also doesn't fly away, which is perfect for this kind of tutorial. So we'll place him on a perch and see if we can get a stunning background behind him and what we have to do to actually get those backgrounds. Even in an environment like this where it just sticks everywhere basically, we can still find good background. So let's go ahead and do it. Where do you want to sit? Looks like Charlie's are ready to go. Found himself a nice perch. Let's see if we can get a good background and this sticky mess doesn't look too good, does it? So that's what it looks like when we shoot from the first spot, just from the footpath. The bird's not on the best angle and there's really distracting branches just behind the bird giving us a really ugly background. So what can we do? I get a few safety shots, so I have a couple shots of the birds, but now, like I said, it's all about your mindset. So instead of just shooting, 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 I'll walk down the hill a bit further, see if I can find a clearing behind the bird to get a nice background. So all I did was move a little bit further down the hill and you can see there's a little bit of a green opening behind the bird now and suddenly I'm getting a really nice image with a nice and smooth green out of focus background and I'm shooting at f8 with no extender so I'm not even pushing the boundaries here I could even open it up a bit more if I wanted to smooth the background but I really wanted to show you that it's just thinking about the background that is what actually gets you the background in your images and in most cases there is a background available you just have to look for it find it and then get the shot and that's what we've done today and if you have a look now if we're just moving a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right it's all gone so always keep it in mind Here's a few examples where you can see what happens when you don't think about the background. Here the background is just much too close, doesn't give you a good angle, good image. Same here, background too close and too cluttered. In this third shot, we can see the robin hopped onto a higher rock and I lowered my tripod, getting a decent background but still pretty dark and green. The red cap robin kept sitting on these rocks, so I took the camera off the tripod and went really low. So I could have the other rocks in the background as a nice and beige background. So let's look at the things that actually get you great background in your images. As we've seen, it's all about your mindset. If you don't think about getting a good background, you won't be getting one. Secondly, it's about the position you're in. If you're not in the right spot, you're not likely to get a good background. Thirdly, it's all about the distance between your lens, the perch, and the background. If your background is really far behind the perch, you will always get a really nice looking smooth background because the more the distance, the smoother the background will be and the more dissolved all the background elements will be. If the background is really close to your bird, it's really hard to get a nice background and sometimes impossible so the closer you're to the bird and the further the background the more smoothly you will have your background looking another important factor is your lens if you're using a big prime lens like i do it's much easier to get a smooth background because the lens itself is really good at dissolving these background elements if you're using a shorter zoom lens or a shorter prime lens you have to work a little bit harder to get similar looking images and it's more important that your background is really far behind your perch so it's not impossible, you just have to work a little bit harder. Another important factor is your f-stop. I usually like to shoot at f8 and hardly ever change it because I like to get enough sharpness on the bird, depth of field. And if I was shooting at f4 wide open, for instance, I would get a smoother background, but I would be sacrificing a lot of depth of field and sometimes the feet of the bird wouldn't even be in focus anymore. And that's something I don't like. So I really focus on 
Shooting at f8 and getting a background that's far enough behind the perch so that it's smooth no matter what aperture I'm shooting at. Looking at this video, I think you realize as well now why I like setup photography so much because I can control a lot of the elements that are really tricky to control when I'm just chasing birds. If I set up a perch, I can set it up in a spot where I know that I get a nice background and I can position myself in a perfect spot to photograph it. So all I need then is attracting a bird to the perch, which isn't always easy, but when it comes together, you get those kinds of images that you see me posting. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and that it shed some lights on how I get my backgrounds and how you can get them yourself as well. If you have any questions left, post them in the comments. Let me know what you thought about the video and I hope you enjoyed working with Charlie. He will feature in a couple more videos. He's been a good soldier today. And yep, hit subscribe, stay up to date with my latest videos and I'll see you in the next one.